Well, here it is. It's the release of the Stabycraft 2400 and what a ripper boat. This has been a long awaited package. It actually fills that gap in the new range with the aero pontoons and the game chaser transom and it fills the gap between the 21 and the 26 as well. So we're into the 2400 Stabycraft. It's a wonderful thing. We've been out having a lovely time playing around in a beautiful day in Port Phillip Bay, but there's a nice bit of slop. We found some good swell down in Port Phillip Heads to really test an offshore quality boat like this. This is the famous Stabycraft name. This is the boat the professionals are buying, the commercials are buying, the police, rescue services, even fire brigades are buying these things. They're big, they're tough, they're solid, they're eminently seaworthy, they ride very, very, very well. The new arrow pontoon and new entries given it a completely different feel from the front end. There's no slapping or banging and the game chaser transom is a ripper. The way the whole thing is set up, they've elongated the keel line all the way to the back of the boat, right up to the transom. It's given us some great reversibility. When you're on that big fish chasing it around in reverse, you can actually motor around at a good bit of speed in this boat without getting wet and without drowning your motor. And speaking of the motor, we've got a 250 horsepower Honda Silver Boy, the big one. This thing absolutely rips and tears on the water, but it's as quiet as a mouse. It's probably one of the smoothest and nicest notes I have ever heard in an outboard. You can't even hear it running in idle speed. The Stabycraft 2400 Super Cat. It's a beauty. We've had a ripper day today. Port Phillip Bay really turned it on. We've been in southern Port Phillip Bay. We've been down the heads. We've been all around the place doing what you're meant to do in a boat. Stabycraft have really put together an ultimate fishing machine. There's no doubt about it. If you want it a different way, this one's got an extended cabin on it as well. If you want that fitted out as a camper version, they can do it in closed cabins. They can do it all sorts of different options, but still with that traditional Stabycraft offshore credentials. You've got all sorts of features on that. It's a breeze to drive. Its ergonomics are great. Its throttle position is terrific. The dashboard's at the right angle. You, you can see your instruments even in the glaring sun. You've got everything close at hand. It's got a great V-berth, a great big strong deck area, plenty of freeboard. How much more can I say? Inbuilt lifeboat tanks, kill tanks, underfloor tanks, and you can even walk around the sides on it to get to the bow as well. I've got to tell you, Stabycraft 2400 does it for me.